Hi, I'm Steve Hadley from Central Piling. I'd like to talk to you today about one of the biggest hazards that we face in our CFA piling operations, and that's concrete pumping. After a number of accidents and near misses where concrete hoses have burst, we decided that it was time to sit down and take a fresh look at the management of this risk and see how we could better control it. Using a model known as the hierarchy of controls, we've reviewed various stages of the construction process. The first two stages are elimination and substitution. Do we need to pile? Do we need to pump concrete? In a dry stable bore, for instance, concrete can be delivered from the top of an open bore directly into the pile. The next stage is engineering controls. Hoses often burst due to abrasion and structural damage from construction plant crossing them. We've now introduced ramps to stop this damage occurring. The penultimate stage in the model is administrative controls. All hoses are inspected on a daily basis for signs of wear. They're also tested on a monthly basis for pressure. Here's an example of a six metre concrete hose, four inch, which was tested um, back in September. And as you can see, we tested it yesterday and we've got another split in it now. So this was tested up to 80 bar, let's split at that. Concrete hose testing. We do this procedure in our offices in Houston in Essex. We test concrete hoses every 30 days. The hose is lifted up and placed into a steel tube in the ground which contains any, any blowout that may occur if the hose is faulty. The water inlet valve is connected. And this is using recycled water out of the tube which is pumped back into the hose until full and it comes out of the, the other portal on the top. He then connects the pressurised hose onto the top of the, the coupling, opens the water feed, which keeps the water pressure constant, and then starts the compressor. The compressor takes up the pressure to 80 bar and holds it there for two minutes. Once the two minutes is up, the pressure is released into an escape valve. The pin is removed, the crane is then reattached, the hose is then removed. They raise the, the lid back up to full height and release the water back into the back into the tube ready to be used again. This hose passed the test so we'll be ready to go back out on site for use. The final stage in controlling the risk is personal protective equipment. The drop hoses on the machine are provided with bagging to contain the concrete in the event of a blowout. The site is also hoarded rather than provided with just Harris type of fencing to ensure that the public remains safe. And our site team always wear eye protection. Thank you for listening. Hope that today has given you some ideas on controlling risks in concrete pumping and construction in general. If you'd like any further information, please contact one of our team.